With the start of Euro 2012 just days away, it's time for a cheery look at what could go wrong during the finals. It's being this gloomy that's made us so popular. But it's not just us who are being a bit negative. The people of Poland and Ukraine seem to have a downer on the tournament too. The hosts have built six shiny new stadiums for the event, but for a while there, it looked like they might not get it together. In 2010, with preparations almost at a standstill, UEFA boss Michel Platini threatened to take the tournament somewhere else. He described the decision to give it to Poland and Ukraine as slightly rash. But now they're all set, but it's not come cheap. The new venues have cost around £2 billion and the locals are footing the bill. It's estimated the four stadiums in Poland have cost the taxpayers two grand each. Times are hard and there's plenty who feel it's a waste of money. And when it's over, Poland will have three 40,000 all-seater grounds and one 60,000, while the average gate in the domestic league is less than 9,000. Never mind standing empty in years to come, in Ukraine it's feared the grounds won't be full for the tournament itself. The ticketing system hasn't worked. Many competing nations haven't sold their allocation, but the spares haven't been made available to the locals. And if you make it into a stadium, that's when your troubles could really start. But racism and hooliganism are growing, and reports of widespread corruption and violence in the Ukrainian police haven't exactly helped reassure travelling fans. Not that there are many of those. Anyway, England have sold less than half of their ticket allocation for all of their group games with thousands put off by the cost of getting to Ukraine and the difficulty of travelling around once you're there. The fact that hotel owners have hiked their prices hasn't helped, especially as Donetsk is a mining town that's twinned with Sheffield, but is apparently more like Barnsley. So there you have it, a glittering festival of football ahead as Europe's finest do battle, hopefully not literally. That seat on the sofa has never looked more appealing. As you'll have realised by now, we'll keep trotting this stuff out every week whether you like it or not, so you might as well give in and click the subscribe button.